Um, my name is LaCosta and I am coming to you with another hair video. I am going to be doing a first impressions on the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Curl Stretcher Cream Rinse. This is it. And I have seen some um, YouTube ladies do reviews on this product. As you can see, I am pretty much... Uh, I don't know if I want to call it a TWA, but it's, it's short. So, um, I am, I big chopped again, like maybe a month ago. And I am just trying different things on my hair. This is not my first time, um, big chopping my hair. This is actually my second time. Um, I bleached my hair last year, not last year. I bleached it in October of, uh, two... 2017 so I kept my bleached hair for um, over a year and it was just not healthy so I decided to bitch shop again so this is not my first time I am just doing different trying different products just to see what I like and don't like and you know I, I have my favorites because like I said I have I have been a natural since my last perm was in 2000 14 and then I bit chopped in 2015 so I have been a natural like a full natural since 2015 um, my hair tends to grow pretty fast so I don't have any issues with that area and um, my hair is freshly washed condition and deep condition I wash my hair with um, Manuka Honey and Morphora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. I have both. Um, I love the shampoo and the condition light. It's great. Love them both. And then I deep condition with me the Myel um, Hydrating Conditioner. I, I'm not going to try to say the name. I'm just not good with names. Okay. And then today I'm going to be doing the curl stretcher and I'm going to be doing the leave-in conditioning cream and the coconut uh, curling cream. And I'm going to use Eco Styler. Um, the Eco Style Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil. I wanted to try the Extreme um, Professional, but I don't think I'm going to do that today. I tried it on my daughter's hair. It gave it hold, but I just don't think that it, I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to like it. So I'm just going to go with what I know today as far as Eco Styler Gel. I do plan to review the Extreme line, um, but not today. So if you want to see, you know, how my hair does after, um, see if the curl stretcher really does stretch the curls, just keep watching. Thanks. All right, first I am starting here with the Cantu Curl Stretcher. Um, I got this from Walmart. Um, I think it was either five or six dollars. I was just wanting to try something out, you know, just to see if something could stretch my curls, being that I had cut my hair and it was uh, a little short for my liking. Um, here I'm just hydrating, put some more water. It seems like the shorter my hair, the drier it is for some reason. I'm not really sure. Now I'm just um, sectioning it off. I'm gonna. I've already did the other side, so now I'm spraying water. Um, you know, I've already put the stretcher on there. I'm gonna do the Cantu leave-in, then the Cantu curl definer or curling cream, and then I have started. Um, I'm gonna start using the um, Extreme Wet Line. I said I was gonna do the Eco Styler, but I changed my mind. Um, as you can see, I'm using my Deming brush, and I also use, um, I can't think of what the name of that other brush is, but you, you brush down. I learned this from um, the Glam Twins. When you use uh, one of those brushes, you brush down to detangle your hair. Uh, so here I'm just putting on the gel. I take a little section, and then I start to shingle, and that's how I do my um, washing goes. I, shing I do the shingling method. And as you can see, we have made it to the top, um, messing around, putting water. I'll most likely do my leave-in, my um, Cantu curling cream, 
and then I do my uh, gel and then I do the shingling method. Here I am using my Demon brush just to brush through my hair, make sure the product is through and through. I am going to um, take that portion and make it into two sections, uh, make it easier to work with. Now I am putting my, lo uh, my lotion, <laughs> my gel, and this section right here is kind of hard to yeah, I'm not going to say it's a problem area, but I don't feel like it gets as defined as the back areas do. It's kind of like a wavy pattern up here. I don't know why my hair has always been this way. So, yeah. With shorter hair, I tend to have more issues with this area. Once my hair grows out, I don't have that issue. Um, but when it's shorter, I have sort of an issue. So now I'm just going back through, putting a little bit of gel, um, and you know, just smoothing it out. Um, now I am putting gel on the front of my hair to see how I want my hair to lay, and just picking and messing through it. Hi guys, I'm back. I am um, coming back just to let you guys see what my hair looks like. Um, it's not fully dry. I would say it's like 95% dry. It's really just in on my roots where it needs to be um, finished drying. I've been air drying since I um, left you guys last. I normally do my bonnet dryer, but I decided not to. So this is what my hair is looking like. It's really shaky and kind of crunchy a little bit. Um, I will scrunch the crunch once it's fully dried, but I just want to come back on and let you guys know how I feel about the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Curl Stretcher Cream Wings. Um, it claims to minimize shrinkage and it is a humidity resistant. Great for blow dry or air dry styles. Um, it says no mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, silicones, um, parabens, curly girl friendly, okay? Um, and it just says elongate strands for easy air dry or blow dry styles, formulate to temporarily loosen texture to add manageability and save time whether the end look is curly or straight. Made with shape pure shea butter and formulate for all textures first the smell um it smells like all the other Cantu shea butter uh products i don't really like the way the bottle has this knob here i just don't know if it's just my hands but once it's wet it was hard it was hard for me to get the squeeze the stuff out um, and it really is a thick product as you can see I did just shake it down and it didn't want to shake I had to do it more than once so what I did was I took the top off and I squeezed it that way so that was a little bit easier um, the consistency was like a creamy conditioner it didn't really have very very much slip to it um, but my hair was already detangled so I didn't have any issues in that area I can tell that my hair is a little bit more elongated than what my last wash and go was um, without using this product. So if I, my first impression is that the product did work for my hair. Um, I don't really have any negatives about the product. Um, I've always been a Cantu product type of girl. I like Cantu. I have, you know, my first time going natural, I used their curling cream. That was like one of my favorite um, things to use on my natural hair and I just happened to come back to it with this and then I used the leave-in conditioning cream and I used the coconut curling cream so I used both of these and I used some olive oil I did the um, LOC method was which is liquid oil and cream 
So I did that method and my hair, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Um, probably a few days. It seems like my hair lasts less the shorter it is. The longer it is, the longer it'll last. And it also seems like, uh, I know my lips are ashy, but um, it also seems like my hair is easier to manage when it's a little bit longer versus now it, it's it's like my hands aren't made for short hair, like trying to comb it, like I'll be having a rough time. But um, I would recommend this product. I got it from Walmart. It was like $5.97 or something. So if you have any questions, just drop them below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos. And until next time, curly girls, peace.